So in this video, we're going to be looking at bevels or chamfers and fillets, depending whether you're coming from CAD or if you're coming from our surface modeling, such as Blender. So in CAD, this is called fillets or chamfers. In Blender, it's called a bevel. In such a package as free CAD, well, we'll add an edge by clicking on it or control clicking a number of edges and then come up to the chamfer or the fillet tool. If I add the chamfer, you can see those edges are chamfered and we can increase the size of that chamfer. So four millimeter chamfer there and it's showing what edges have been chamfered. Okay, that and the chamfer has been applied. In Blender, as said, this is the bevel tool. There's two ways of adding a bevel. So first of all, we could come up and come into edit mode. And I'm going to show you adding a bevel to the vertices. We can do that by shift clicking on the vertices that we want and then come up to vertex and bevel vertices. We now get this line and as we move this line you can see they start to bevel. So we can move this either way and we get a bevel in there. So this is basically the same as a chamfer on those two vertices there. You don't have this select in the vertices in CAD. It's normally done on the edges or faces. Now, if we wanted to add an actual value, then if I click once we get this bevel window appear here, which we can open up and select width type, the width, etc. So we can change this to width and set something like a two millimeter bevel on there. Bit too much, so let's just go for a one millimeter. We've got that there. If we wanted to change this to a fillet, then we increase the segments. So if I click on here, I can add say four segments. You can see we've now got the fillet added. Let's zoom in a bit so we can see that. You can see the amount of segments added. So we can change this to eight. And we've got a much smoother fillet in there. We just click off and it will apply. All set that. And apply that again. So vertex, bevel vertices. And we apply that bevel. Click. And we've got our bevel panel or window that's popped up here. We also can control the shape. So let's bring this around to this side. Move this over. So at the moment, our shape is basically 0.5, which is around. If we move this to the left and to the right, we can see we can change the shape of that bevel. Click off and just click and that's applied in there. And we can come back out on into object mode and we can see the bevels in there. Now let's have a look at the same over in FreeCAD. So the last thing we added was the chamfer. Now I can delete that chamfer from here and I'm gonna select, well this time I'm gonna select a face and add a fillet this time. So you can see we've added a fillet there and we can increase that fillet. And we can add multiples in there, say 0.25 and click off. So we've got that in there. And we can just add other faces, change this to whatever we want. I'm pressing the up and down arrow keys. Change that there. And that adds the fillet to our tree. Over in Blender, well, you can see that, well, this has been applied. So there's no going back on this unless we hit Control Z. But if we've gone forward so much that we've added fillets along here and we want to say edit our fillet on here, then we have an issue. This is where the bevel modifier comes in handy. I'm still in vertex mode. We can change the modes in here so I can add the edges to so this edge, this edge, etc. Or I could add faces. So I can select what part of this I want to add the bevel to. I'm going to select an edge, selected edge there, and that's select this edge. 
Let's come over to the modifiers and add a modifier and add a bevel. Now the trouble is, is because we've added a bevel in here, it's beveled the whole object. We only want the edges. To do that, we have to make something called a vertex group. If I was adding a normal bevel to this, say to this edge, then I would just come up to edge and then bevel edges, the same as vertex and bevel vertices. But if I wanted to select certain edges so I can change them within our stack on the right hand side here, I have to create that vertex group. So let's remove that modifier and learn how to make this group. I need to be in edit mode and I need to select the vertex. So this icon here, selection mode of vertex. I'm not using shortcut keys. You can use those if you want. I'm keeping away from those at the moment. Now what we do is select the vertices that we want and I can just select near to them. So if I select, say, around here, you can see I've selected that vertex there. I'm going to shift select the vertices that I want. So we just have those two. They're highlighted in orange. Maybe this one's highlighted in white. That's the last one we selected. And then we come up to vertex, vertex groups, and assign new group. So those vertices have been assigned to a group. If we come down to the right hand side and check out the object data properties, we'll see in there a vertex group. So you can see the cube has got a vertex group in there of group, which we can rename if we want by double clicking on it and just rename it in there. Now we've got this vertex group, we can add our modifier. So click on the spanner icon, the modifier, add modifier, drop that down and click on bevel. Now if we come over to the right hand side, we got the limit method. Drop this down, click on vertex group, and then we come into here by clicking in this space and clicking on the group. And that's added that bevel to those two vertices. And again, we've got the amount, so we can drop this down to width and set the width in here of say 0.5 mil. And the segments we can increase to make this into a fillet. And basically we don't want too many of these, otherwise it's going to increase the load on the CPU. If we come down to the profile, we can change the shape. So this is very similar to the continuity of that curve between these two edges in CAD. Because this is on the stack, we can change this at a later date. So we can carry on working and come back and change this. We don't want it, we can just get rid of it by clicking on the X. Very similar to CAD packages where you see fillet within this body here in 3CAD. So I hope that's given you the differences between Prehad and Blender when doing a fillet or a chamfer and how you would transition between those two packages if you wanted to use both or if you're looking to move to Blender or Prehad. I hope you found that video useful and I hope to see you again in the new one. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash mj3dstudio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.